Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be going back and looking at our Euro Truck Simulator 2 dedicated server. So I think I remember from last time what we got done is just basically the basic server. So today what we're going to do is we're going to allow it so you can up the player amount to 1 to 8 I think the maximum is you can now do and we're going to add in some moderators or should I say admins so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go right back to basics and open up your console mode what I have got on screen right now so if you've already got this part just wait a minute or skip to this part on screen now and um, we'll get right on with it if not stick with me and let's just change a few things in your config file so the first thing you want to do is come to your documents which mine is right here and then go to your config and then we're going to right click um you can edit with notepad but i prefer to do notepad plus plus i'm a coder so that's my preferred choice you can do notepad but it's just awful now you can do control f so the first thing that you want to type into this box right here is console and we're going to change this will be a zero for you and then we're going to change it to a one and then do control so now we are looking for a developer like i mentioned before i'm absolutely crap at spelling i know it's around here somewhere i've just seen it it's right there on line one two five and this will also be a zero or it might be a two could be wrong there but we're just going to change it to a one and then save and now you can close this file down and open up your game so now when you press your tilde key which is top left for me next to your one you will have the console mode open up now we want to put in here so open up your console and then we want to put this command into our console which i will put up on screen right now what it is what this is going to do is make our game so we can see 128 slots on the convoy mode so we just press enter like so and now we can press escape yes we know Press escape and go to convoy and convoy lobby and continue like so. You will see that I have already got a server up and running for a 32 slot. So we're just not going to worry about that minute, but that shows us that what we've just done worked. So we're going to go down here to host a convoy. And then we're going to do this slider to whatever you want. I'm going to pick 128 just to be different. No, I'm not. 124 to be different. And we're going to keep everything else. Now we're going to press that tilde key again. And download our server package again. I know we already did it in the last video. But just for best practice, just to make sure that everything is still working correctly, we're going to do it again and press enter. And now this will have gone to your documents folder. So back here, back to documents. Back to your truck simulator 2. And there we've got a server package DAT and a server package dot SII. And we're going to copy that. And we're going to go over to our VPS. And we're going to paste it into our documents your truck simulator 2 on our VPS, like so. Copy and replace, copy and replace. And that's it for this step. Now, if you haven't got your VPS set up, go back to the video that's in the top right hand corner right now. And that shows you how to set your VPS up and also get 50% off your first month when you use code SkullGamer69. So now this is where we're going to set up the 124 slots onto your server so we're going to go to this config underscore ds right here 
and we're gonna go with edit with notepad plus plus and just press no on this and then we're gonna find the max convoy size which is right here for me mine was set at 32 but we're about to change that to 124 and we're gonna save it but now we're gonna go back to the config underscore ds and go to properties and tick this box read only and apply and okay and then we're going to go into our server config edit with notepad plus plus and just change this number right here also to 124 and then we're going to start the server and as you can see right there 124 players allowed to connect so we're going to go back to our game which is right over here go into convoy mode search again now you will see we can join our convoy and press drive and we're back in the ocean right you will see up in the top left it says no network connection do not worry about this it's just something to do with the last 1.50 update you are still connected to your server when you look onto your console you are still there and you haven't disconnected or anything like that um once someone else does join your server that message will disappear and you will not see it anymore and it'll just work as normal so let's jump on to part two of this video which is setting up your moderators let's go back to the vps and show you how this is done so we've come back to the vps and now we're here what we're going to do is shut down our server like so and press now and just save that and what we're going to do is go to our documents your truck simulator 2 and come down to server config dot ssi and open with notepad plus plus so this is this file that we just shut down and you're going to see something like moderator list zero, I think it is. And there's going to be nothing here. So all you want to do is basically this. I'm going to leave this down in the description. And you're going to add your moderators here and here. Now, this is not an actual moderator. This is just a false number that I've put in. This is my actual i uh steam 64 id to make me moderator the reason i've done it like this is because countless of times i just tried adding myself in and it just would not work so we've done it like this and this works but how do you get your steam 64 just type into google steam 64 id and a converter will come up and you just pop in your profile link to your steam and then you copy your Steam 64 ID and it will look something a little bit like this. So we add this into the bottom, leave everything like it is, press save, then open up your server how you would normally. So you'd go to here and open up the server. And then you can log in and you are admin. And then you can do things like set time set rain help command kick and all the good stuff like that so now i'm going to move on to some a little bit of tips and tricks to get your server working if it's just not running for some unknown reason so we're going to go to this pc local disk steam cmd and now in the original video you would see we made this update ets2 file and we're just going to double click that and that's going to update our ets2 to whatever version of ets2 it is at that moment for the dedicated server let that do its thing it'll close down and you start your server as normal and it should start working now if you join my discord 
link will be down in the description i will put this file in there and this is just a basic auto restarter very simple i'll open it up i'll let you see it that's all it is basically if your server crashes for some unknown reason that will restart it so you just open it like so that's your server running and now let's say it crashes so it crashes like that yeah now that is restarting automatically guys if you've enjoyed this video please smash that like button smash that subscribe button let me know down in the comments what else you want to see me do and guys thanks for watching i'll catch you all next time don't forget join the discord